Once again, my friends, Israel is under siege. Even the White House correspondent, Helen Thomas, thought, thought it's an opportune time to show off her bigotry, telling the Jews to, quote, get the hell out of Palestine and go back to Poland and Germany. <laughs> Helen, Helen, I got two things to say to you. First, the Jews are not in Palestine. They're in the state of Israel. Mr. Prime Minister, 
are afraid now to walk in the streets. They're not attending bar mitzvahs or weddings for fear of attacks and nobody writes about it. That is not the way to bring peace to the Middle East, Mr. Prime Minister of Turkey. Can you believe it? The United Nations wants to send UN observers to check Israel's nuclear capabilities. I have a question for the United Nations. When are you going to send observers to Gaza to count the tunnels, to document the rockets that the Iranians and the Syrians have supplied Hamas? And if the United Nations wants to get active in Israel and in the Middle East, Here's a perfect start. Every month you have a resolution condemning Israel. Can you answer one simple question? Why in the whole history of the United Nations have you never once condemned Hamas or Hezbollah? We know the reason. The reason is 57 Muslim states have a virtual lock on the General Assembly and they won't allow you to do it. Why not say so? In conclusion, my friends, we pray every day that peace will come to the Middle East. But peace won't come through a flotilla. You know when it will come? When the Arab world finally decides to bury the hatchet and say, just as the State of Israel is prepared to recognize all Arab states as they wish to be recognized, be it a secular state, be it a Muslim state, so must we, the Arab states, recognize one small democratic state called Israel as the homeland of the Jewish people forever. That's when you'll have peace in the Middle East.